Hello, this is Easy Target coming back at you with another how to video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use GeForce Experience to record your gameplay in Fortnite so you don't have to rely on the in game replay system because we all know how bad this system is. This is going to be a two part series. This one's going to show off the GeForce, and I'm going to do another video that shows off the Xbox Game Center record system. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump on into this. And I do have a, an affiliate creator code, so if you could use code EASYTARGET in the item shop, I sure would appreciate it. That's just E-A-Z-Y TARGET, no spaces, and you guys are awesome. First off, you're going to need the GeForce Experience installed on your computer. Alright, starting off, you do need the GeForce Experience downloaded onto your computer. It may not already be installed, so if you want that, the link is down in the description below. Click on that, come here, download the file, install it like any other game or file. When is that, once that is installed, open up your GeForce experience and this is what you'll come to. It'll show you your games that you have available. I have only three games right now. The uh, test server for Diablo, the regular Diablo, and Fortnite. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and scan just to see if there's any other games, you can just click this guy right over here. It'll scan the drive that you have selected and search for those games. If it's not finding the games that you think you have on your system, you may want to change your drives. You're going to have to go into the settings, games, and then change your drives. You're going to have to add the drive that you want to scan, and then you should be able to scan now and be able to find those games that you're looking for. All right, let's go ahead and get into the settings and see how you use the GeForce Experience to record your gameplay. All right, popping into the GeForce Experience settings, you can push Alt-Z to bring them up. Whenever these are up, you have your just basic options over here. The one that I use the most is Alt-F1. That will re record a screenshot of whatever you need. And then right here, you have your Instant Replay. Whenever you have it on, you can have Alt-F10 to save your previous gameplay. So you can set that up from like one minute to all the way up to 20 minutes. Whenever you push Alt-F10, it will save that clip, put it into your save file and you'll be good to go. I normally keep that one off because I have the eliminations, the wins, uh, the default settings for whenever you're going through and you're getting those kills. It'll record like like a minute or so before. Uh, sometimes you miss some of the uh, intro of the fight, but for the most part it records pretty quickly. If it's a longer fight, you may want to have the instant replay on there so you can record that whole fight so you don't just miss out on any of the good stuff. And then the recording one right here, for me, it's Alt F1. Whenever I put or Alt F9, whenever I push Alt F9, it starts the recording. To stop it, it's Alt F9 again. That'll end the recording, and then it will throw it into your Fortnite section of your recordings. You can go in there, pull up your video. It's an actual video, not like the Fortnite save files. They're just like in-game data that replays. It's that's why it's so bad because it's not an actual replay file. Uh, the next one over here, we have the Broadcast Live. That's if you want to use this system to broadcast your gameplay. I haven't used that one yet, so I don't know too much about it. But if you want to go in here and change any of the settings, you just hit this cog over here. Connect some of your social media accounts right at the top. Uh, let's get into the recording aspect of it right here. we got temporary files. This is where you can go ahead and change your location for your temporary files if you'd like to. Or after you're saving them, this is your actual true save files that won't be deleted. The temporary files will be overwritten if it goes over your cap that you have set. And we'll see that here in a second. Whenever we come back down here, there's a live, live broadcast. You can go in there and set that up. Your highlights here, this is what I was telling you about the eliminations, double kills, and whatnot. You can go through here, check things, turn them on and off, uh, however you like. So whenever it saves, then it's going to put it into the temp highlights folder. So those you also want to set up all the way up to a maximum of 100 gigabytes and you want to go in there and you want to take those out before they override each other so i only have five gigabytes so at some point it's going to overwrite them but i want to make sure i go in there grab those files and move them over to the permanent file so it doesn't overwrite them other than that let's go back up go into your audio settings double check your microphone see which microphone that is if it's not the microphone that you want to use for recording pop out go into the sound settings of your computer and make sure that is set up to the correct microphone that you want to use and then default it will come through here and be your default microphone back and out video capture come in here you can change your quality again we have a a max of recording time on here so this is for the instant replay 20 minutes is the max that you can record so whenever you push that instant replay record button it'll go all the way back to 20 minutes so in some cases that could be your whole game so instead of having to 
live recording going this will just be recording all the time and if you do get that good highlight you can push your shortcut to save that last 20 minutes of gameplay you just got to watch out for if it's a 30 minute game or over 20 minute game you'll lose some of the beginning footage of that that game then you can go here change your resolution it has all the way up to 4k so that is nice over some other video recording software uh, the frames are maxed at 60 frames so that is one thing to note for this recording thing but that's pretty standard and then your bit rate you can go ahead and change your bit rate for better quality there backing out of that that is just about it for the geforce experience on how to set it up through here all right one cool thing that i wanted to show you with the highlight system for the geforce experience is after you play a game it has your highlights right at the uh, main menu your, your lobby here you can hit highlights pops you into your overlay and then it shows you all your eliminations. I dropped into a game just real quick because I almost forgot this in the video here, but um, it'll have all your eliminations and your deaths right up at the top here. At the beginning, I was able to get an elimination and it saves the first the 20 seconds of gameplay before that. Usually that's a pretty good amount of time unless it's like an intense build battle, so you can change that settings in the uh, but boom, there it goes, save that clip, and I'm moving on. Then the next one wasn't so great, as you can see. I heard that guy coming up, I thought he was just maybe playing down below. Couldn't exactly tell where he's at. But you can see, see there that it saves all your kills and your deaths right up there so you can take them straight to your source here uh, which we got YouTube but most of the time you just go to the file you can if you hit save to gallery that's going to save it to your actual hard copy of your games and not the temporary folder uh, right now these are going to be saved in your temporary folder and then you can access them in the filing system if you want and then just drag them over other than that let's jump on into the next thing all right just a quick re recap if you want to take a screenshot alt f1 if you want to do your instant replays make sure it's on and then you got your default Alt F10 to save them whenever you do get that clip that you want to save. Make sure you go into the settings and adjust the time frame that you want to record it on. Then you have the record setting, Alt F9 to start your recording. So if you want to re just record your whole gameplay, Alt F9 at the beginning of your game, Alt F9 at the end of your game. If you don't do that, it will continuously record. I've recorded a whole day before. That takes up a lot of hard drive space, so do be mindful of that. Don't forget that. Then you got your broadcast setting over here, and I haven't messed around with that too much, but if you want to go in there, set, go through your settings, set all that up on what you want to stream to, all your different um, settings for that, and you should be good to go. And then back one more time, do also make sure that your microphone is on the input that you want. If you just want to do gameplay, keep, keep it off. If you want to make sure you're recording, put it on always on, or the push to talk option, because if it's not on, you'll go through your whole gameplay and want your voice recorded or whatnot, and if you had that off, you're going to be disappointed because now you're going to have to go through and re-record your voice or whatever you're going to have to do. Because I've done that several times making some of my videos. Forgot that was off. All my vocals were lost. And just a heads up, this is not being recorded with the GeForce Experience right now because I cannot record this overlay with the GeForce Experience. So I had to use the Xbox gaming console recording or whatever. And the microphone quality is not that good, so sorry about that. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox game experience to record your gameplays for Fortnite. If this video helped you out at all, please consider subscribing to the channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. It would really help out the video. Thank you guys very much. This is Easy, and I'm out.